मेरे की अपना जे बने कोई तेरे ते है मेरे की लोड़ी उत्ते मिठी है नी बदले ने चेरे की कितनों जाते चिदले Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views, as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views. But I'm going to bring it to the forefront on my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about say six reactions. And I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my fourth reaction of today is coming from Shakur Debra. And I have done a number of amazing, um, so I've done a number of uh, reactions to his amazing tracks. So just go into my um, Indian category and look or go into the hip hop category, either way, and you see the amount of uh, um, tracks that I have done or the pleasure of reacting to his um, songs. Because they are out, they are. Listen, that's what I'm gonna say. And to you, go and check it out and agree with me. Um, I'm reading here that this is the production of the Brown Boys, and I don't know how to pronounce B Y G. Um, is it um, Bike Berg? Is that the way how you pronounce it? Let me know about that. Um, but this track is called um, All About Me and it's the full video. I have not looked at not even one second of it, but I'm very, very excited because I know um, what Shakur brings um, to the table. And it's just like, listen, if you don't know already, then I don't know where you've been. I really don't know where you've been. But look, this is going to be my fourth reaction of today. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on and I simplified it for you I've broken it down into various musical categories just remember when you go into these various categories these are artists from around the world both established artists and non-established artists and I promise you you will not be disappointed now before before I go on to all about me, I want to read a couple of your give um, comments and give a number of shout outs as well because they are really amazing. Um, Diane and Rithia, good morning, how you doing? Taylor NS, good morning, how you doing? Thank you very much um, for your amazing comments, which I've only got two comments um, from David Zaha. Uh, it's, it's like, oh, pff, I don't know. But you said, lovely, this was a cover of Frankie Russo's and uh, Russo passed away in the 90s. If you love this song, you better. You love Hector um, Laval and Cela Cruz, Legends of Salsa Music, sing back then. Thank you for this. So I will be checking out some more salsa because ah, oh, you, if you don't see, if you didn't see the way how I got my free con when I heard when I heard that so do stana. Listen, I don't like, don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> and fam, um, Phil Long, good morning. How you doing, Edward Ramanum? Good morning. Bang, good morning. Um, Virgin Lad, good morning. How you doing? Alfredo, good morning. How you doing, mate? Um, Sean Nightingale, thank you very much for your message regarding Nightwish. Um, Donna um, Patterson, uh, respect brother, thank you very much. I'm going to do a number of shout outs regarding um, Tom McDonald, so wait up for that one. Um, Julio Chavez, good morning, thank you very much for um, your comments regarding Angelina Jordan with I Can't Help Falling In Love. Um, Frank Phillips, thank you very much as well. Musa Musa, thank you very much for gracing your presence on my channel and still being there. Thank you very much for that. Christine A, regarding who wrote this song, I think um, Passé de More published in Paris, 1784. Um, John Paul, um, and this, uh, this is French, um, Martini shares a lot with I Can't Help Falling In Love With You, called Progressing and All. I guess 1784, one of uh, the early of the two. So I thought it was Elvis Presley um, sung this song, Can't Help Falling In Love. Angelina Jordan done a retake of that, but it stands the test of time. 1784, there you go. Anyway, look, we'll just go straight into my fourth reaction of today, um, Shakur Debra, and this track is called All About Me. And this is a full video um, produced by the Brown Boys. Um, I don't know what um, Björk, um, Bird is doing maybe it's a collaboration, and I might stand and I will have a better um, no 
when I watch the video. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Big bird in the pot. Big bird in the Wicked. So that was Shakur Debra, all about me, um, Bissett Bikeberg and the Brown Boys. First of all, I want to say hats off to the Brown Boys for making this particular track. This had me, I love the, um, the saxophone. There's something like that, but I was going through. And that kept the pace. And that set the tone um, for me. And then you got Mr. Shakur, man. He just, when, you heard him on the flow. And I, with me, I don't put on the subtitles. I put it on the second time or the third time around because I want to hear the riff, I want to hear the melody, I want to hear how the bounces on the track is. And he never disappoints me with that heightened energy. I was quite surprised on the location though, but not surprised to be fair. Once you look at the, um, his music videos, they're always, they're never in, it always, his location always keeps you on your, on his t on your toes because you don't know what you're going to get. And with this one, surprised me. In the snow, it's like, what? What are you doing in the snow? What are you doing on the snow bikes? <laughs> But it's like, it's like Shakira, he likes to give you something that's out of the norm. Something that's not everybody else is doing that. You tell me any other hip hop artist um, in the same kind of zone as he is in, that's doing that in the snow. I mean, I haven't seen, um, for instance, um, Aravu do anything in the snow. I haven't seen anything with like Sadis um, um, Muller um, doing anything in the snow. It's always something like in the streets or, you know, with a couple of cars or there's a dog and there's some women. You know, this is a, yes, there was a Lamborghini, but come on a Lamborghini you know that is fly that is hot 
um, in the studio that he does back and forth. So there was Lab Lamborghini outside in the snow on the moped inside the studio as well. And the contrast bouncing between those three was absolutely amazing. It still kept you on your toes. And the changing... Um, the changing of the clothes element. One part where he's in his tracksuit just to give you that vibe. Another part that he's in the leather jacket and his and his uh, and jeans to give you another vibe. So I love that kind of the way how it sets. Um, it breaks down the vibe in the, in the music. Sometimes there's in hip hop tracks, you just get the one kind of flow take where the artist is you know just wearing that one tracksuit and he's bouncing everywhere and you know that kind of thing. But I so I but so I like when Shakira sets out the box and gives you something kind of different. He wants to give you something that nobody else is doing at the moment. Nobody else is trying to do at the moment, and that's what you, that's where he breaks down these kind of barriers when he does his tracks. Um, if I've done, like I said, I've done about three or four um, of his amazing art, and then and his visuals are never ever the same. Never ever 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 the same. And so I love that kind of style. He's always up in his game, one step at a time, up in his game. But also making sure that he's sticking with the true format that everybody can relate to. Um, and that's why he's got his such an amazing fan base because he, he's giving the fans what they want, but also including his bit of Je ne sais quoi into this um, volume as well. And I love that. And like I said, hats off to the Brown Boys as well because they do know how to rock the um, rock a beat. They really do know how to rock it and execute it out for everybody to to jump up and down. They have never disappointed with um, with their styles of music and with their combination and their collaboration between the two. You only know that it's going to get messy. It's going to get messy when them two get together. It's going to get sticky. <laughs> There's going to be slime everywhere. And to produce a fat, fat beat and a fat, fat, fat track like this. And I'm so, so happy. There's another track that's come out, uh, which I'm not going to let you know about it because I'm going to react to it. And I'm going to let you know when I actually do react to it as well, um, which will be either this week, um, end of this week or next week that I will do the um, reaction. Maybe on a Sunday, I'll let it um, do that. But altogether, the melody... The sharpness um, within the music, uh, the, within the music itself, the constant, um, there's that saxophone thing in there doing that kind of, it gives you that hook, so to speak. That was a s wicked, it kept me. -na 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 -na. I don't know, I, I can't remember um, the exact flow of it, but what I do know, it sticks in my head. Even when the song is trapped, stopped, it's stuck in your head, it's still continually going. And that's what I like about it. There's certain music that you listen to, but once it stops, it stops in your head. And there's certain music that, even once it stops, it's still playing in your head. And it's one of those songs, it's still playing in your head. It's designed and orchestrated very, very cleverly. And for that reason, I salute you. Absolutely fabulous. Once again. <laughs> Oh, 